If you don't know what's going on in your body when you have a period, you better keep watching because it's important that you know. If you don't care or if you don't know, who else will? It's not your doctor, I'll tell you that. The two main hormones involved in your period are estrogen and progesterone. Your period can be broken up into these two phases, your follicular phase, which is this one, and then your luteal phase, which is that one. The follicular phase is from the first day you start your period or bleeding until you ovulate. And your luteal phase is from ovulation until your next period or whenever the next time you start bleeding is. The dominant hormone in your follicular phase is estrogen. Estrogen is responsible for building up your uterine lining and basically preparing the womb. Remember, your period cycle centers around ovulation and preparing your body for fertilization. So estrogen is what helps to prepare that endometrial lining and get ovulation going. Once ovulation happens, you start secreting progesterone. You're not gonna make adequate levels of progesterone unless you've ovulated, so this is really important. Make sure you're ovulating. In your luteal phase, progesterone is going to be the dominant hormone. So in follicular phase, it was estrogen. In luteal phase, it's progesterone. And your progesterone levels should be higher than your estrogen levels like you can see here. That green line is higher than the blue line. So if you've heard of the term estrogen dominance, this is when we refer to that, this luteal phase. When estrogen starts to take over progesterone as the dominant hormone, if estrogen was higher than progesterone, that's when we would say you have estrogen dominance. So if you have symptoms of breast tenderness, heavy bleeding, frequent periods, like you're bleeding every couple of weeks, acne, mood swings, headaches, migraines, period flu symptoms, period poops, pain, cramping, endometriosis, all of these are indicating that your estrogen levels are too high and progesterone levels are not high enough to match that. If you have a period, the main things that we want to know are, are you ovulating? How high are your estrogen levels? And are you making enough progesterone to counterbalance your estrogen? In the next video, we're gonna talk all about what a healthy period looks like, what's normal, and what symptoms are concerning. So if you're having any amount of period issues, like and subscribe so you can learn how to fix your hormones naturally.